So before we start, you're gonna need to go into the description and download six screens. It's the link by Film Venture Studios. Download it, it's amazing, but you're gonna need it for this tutorial. So once you've downloaded it and imported it, bring it onto your first clip. You're then gonna change the scale to 420. I'm gonna go, yeah, let's go 420. You're then gonna find the part where you want your transition to start. So mine's round, let's just do it here. And you're gonna click the stopwatch for the rotation. Go to the end and then change that rotation. So your clip is at the, like upside down pretty much. But you, you don't want to do minus, you want to do plus, so it's just 177, let's say. You're then going to want to find where it's at the left, so like this. And bring your second clip to meet that, like I've done. You're going to click the rotate, turn the rotation to minus 90. Yep. And then bring the position all the way to the left, like I'm doing. You want, you're going to want to meet the line like I've done and actually let's change the scale to 140 yeah let's bring it up and bring it to the left again just to meet that line go to the end I don't know go back sorry click the rotation stopwatch go to the end and then turn it back to 0.0, .0. To, and then go on position go to the start sorry again click the stopwatch on position go to the end and drag it to the right to fit the screen again like this actually you're just going to drag it a tiny bit more yep we're going to have to so you can see it doesn't fit the screen entirely so might change the scale a bit just so it goes that fits the screen. Uh, no, we need a bit more because the floor's not showing after the main part, so we're gonna lower it so we can see the like the table. Mm. Uh -huh. Let's just drag the position a bit to the right because remember we we're scaled in, so it won't affect the left side. Like so, let's bring it and. Gonna need to bring it a bit more. You're then gonna want to click back on your first clip and find a bit where both clips meet, and that's my that's here. So once you're at that bit, you'd want to click the stopwatch for position, and then move along. So to meet the line, use the arrow keyboard on your the arrow on your keyboard, sorry, to move one frame, and you're just gonna keep moving it align in it every time to the line like I'm doing so click on the arrow on your keyboard and then move it to meet the line you're gonna keep doing this until you've covered the full screen remember if you're not shooting in 4k when you're because you're scaling in so much the quality when you render at 1080p or whatever it's gonna be slightly bad but if you're shooting in 10 uh, 4k you'll be fine but is it, the quality is only gonna be like lowered a tiny bit so it's not too bad but I just thought I'd have to let you know as you can see we're just gonna drag this over just because it didn't cover the whole screen quickly save it you're then gonna click the opacity square um, 50 no that's too bad 10 25 should do it. bring the mask over that harsh line because we need it to blend in you don't want it too the line to be too thick or too skinny you're then going to change the feather see what and then once you change the feather a bit click invert see what it looks like so you turn it down we're going to turn it up a bit and that you should have this Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you can hit that subscribe button, it means the world to me. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.